Yo, what's up, world? It's damn out of focus. It's your boy Phil Cole here reporting live from uh, Yekaterinburg, Russia. And I just read something interesting on CNN. This is the article. So there's two people you have to know here. First, there's Nina Pham, the girl who now has Ebola, the nurse. And then you also have to know Dr. You have to know Dr. Ken Bradley, who's a survivor of the uh, of the virus. They're both non-black, so to say. You got Asian and white. And let me read you this article from CNN. The decades-old treatment that may save a young Dallas nurse infected with Ebola. That they're talking about Nina Pham. In late July, when it looked like Dr. Kent Bradley wasn't going to make it, a little noticed news item escaped Liberia. It spoke of Brantley's treatment. Not of the Ebola vaccine, Zmap, which Brantley later got, but of a blood transfusion. He had received a unit of blood from a 14-year-old boy who had survived Ebola because of Dr. Brantley's care, the missive said. Now, months later, Brantley, who has since recovered from his battle with the virus, has passed on the favor. A 26-year-old Dallas nurse named Nina Pham who contracted the illness while treating the United States' first Ebola patient has received Brantley's blood. It is not the first time it has been used to treat Ebola patients. Recovered Ebola victim Richard Sagra got it, as well as U.S. journalist Ashoka Mukpo, who last night said he's on the mend. Now, I don't think I need to read much more. You guys basically get the point. I'm hearing a lot of conspiracy theories that this is a racist, for, first before it was a racist uh, treatment, it was the first thing people were claiming, a lot of pro-black people, whatever you want to call them, were claiming were that um, whenever a black person has it, it's not that big of a deal, as soon as a non-black person has it, they come up with some new treatment, some new, oh, we just discovered this, this new discovered Liberia, but we have it here in America, we just, we just couldn't find it when it was in Liberia, I kind of like what the article saying. That's what a lot of people were claiming before. That it's racist because when black people get it, it's not that big of a deal. But when non-black people get it, they do all they can. You understand? There was a meme made with a little boy doing this to some white girl. And what the picture said was, um, doing it to a white lady. He goes, so you mean to tell me uh, when a black person got Ebola, you have no idea what's going on. But soon a white person gets it, you find a cure. That's what people were claiming. A lot of the black people were saying it's racist because white people are only finding cures or helpful treatments for uh, people who are of non-black descent. Now, do I feel this is possible? It's possible, but I don't think so, people. Because seriously, Dr. Kent Bradley is actually, in, he was in Africa treating people. How many of you would go to Africa and treat people? Let me know. Now, of course, he's giving her some blood. That's a real nice thing for him to do. But you don't know if he's giving other people blood. And even if he's not giving other people's blood, he's helping to save lives of other people in Africa. The boy who gave him blood was a survivor of his care. Survivor of Ebola because of his care. So I just know Dr. Ken Bradley is going to get a whole barrage of he's racist, he's this, he's that. I know he's going to get it. Now, I'm sure Ken Bradley will never watch my video. I'm not that big, but... I'm not that big, but... Sounds funny. I'm not that big anyway, but I'm just saying, yo, Dr. Ken Bradley, you're cool to me. You're giving this fine-ass lady a treatment. He's probably doing it just to get a date. You know, he's like, come on, I'll give you some blood. You want my blood to save your life? I right, good. But after I give you the blood, you gotta sign this contract. You gotta go on a date. She's like, no, three dates. No, two dates. One date. Okay, no, two dates. One half a day. Okay, half a day. I'll meet you later. We'll see part of a movie in the first half of dinner. <laughs> I get that from Futurama. But anyway, regardless, I'm not, I'm not saying it is a racist disease. I'm not saying it's not a racist disease. I don't know what the, what the hell's really going on with it. But I don't want people to jump on the whole, when they hear about this, because this just article just released that he's going to do something special for her. Trust me, he's been treating black people his, for a long time. You know, he's been helping black people survive for a long time. He's, he was in Africa treating people. Okay, so don't just jump on that everything's racist bandwagon before you figure out more of the story, right? And that's basically it. Come on, girl. Come on. Nina fam. Yo, rooting for you, girl. 26, I might have a shot. And I'm out.